In this video, I will show you how to make your own thumbnails look like this. Everything I will be using this video will be linked in the description. So go to the description and pick up some custom renders you want for your thumbnail. Alright, so today we'll be using Photopea, which is completely like Photoshop, but it's free. To find Photopea, first of all, we gotta go to the internet and write Photopea. And then hit the first link. Then you're gonna be open to this website and to start, you hit File and New. Now we're gonna adjust the aspect ratio. You can keep this one, which is the YouTube default aspect ratio, or you can make it a little bit better by clicking the third one, which is 1920 by 1080. And to create it, you just click create. Okay, now we have a white screen and I have picked everything I want for this thumbnail. So we're obviously gonna start with the background. You can drag it around. I'm gonna drag it to this corner and by hitting this specific spot, you can resize it. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add a Fortnite skin to make it a little bit better. I'm gonna resize it and now move it to the right and then hit confirm. Okay, we're almost done basically. Then I'm gonna hit another thumbnail, which I kinda want. I already have a base design that I want. So I pretty much know what I'm doing. I'm gonna resize it like that. Now I'm gonna switch layers, which makes that this would be on top of that picture, which in my opinion, it looks 10 times better. Okay, now I'll put this red icon, confirm. I, I can move every image at all times. On the right text, you go to this T icon, press it, and then change your fonts to Distant Galaxy, which is this one right here change your size i'm gonna do something like 70 for this one and i'm gonna change my color to white so you can kind of see the thumbnail text behind this red icon it is because it's a layer lower perfect now to drag anything you go to the top move icon and then drag it down wherever you want to I'm basically finished with my thumbnail. All I have to do is just adjust. So I click on this layer three times and I get this menu. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to do a stroke. I'll change it to 10. Maybe nine looks a bit better. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And that's it. Okay, I'll hit on the skin three times I want to change the outer glow to make it pop a little bit I'll make the capacity max and the size eh, 51 looks pretty clean in my opinion okay now I want to pixelate this thumbnail so what I'm gonna do is just click on it go to filters and I'm gonna go pixelate and I'll hit this one now I can kind of adjust it. Eh, I, I think 10 looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit it three times. I'm also gonna put outer glow. I'll make the size a little bit smaller and that everything would look a little bit better. I'll hit the background filter. I'll go to filter, blur, and gauss blur. And blur it like uh, 1.6 looks pretty good. I'll also probably add the photo P icon at the corner. So I'll just kind of resize it a little bit. And I'll add some outer glow. This is the whole thumbnail. To save the project, you go to File, Export As, and always hit PNG. When you're exporting a 1080 image, it's usually gonna be too big. YouTube only allows two megabytes, not 2.5 megabytes. So what you can do in this situation is drag this down to 99 and the quality is gonna suffer just a little bit. And perfect, we have enough space for YouTube. Okay, and you're probably gonna find it at your downloads. And this is how it looks like. I hope you like this video and I made your day just a little bit better. Bye.